Good day, grade 11s. So today we're starting with a new chapter, number patterns. And this lesson will be focused on constant difference number patterns. One that has a first constant difference. Okay, you've done, uh, you've been doing this number pattern since probably grade 9, grade 8, grade 9, somewhere there. But I'm going to show you the formula, how it works in grade 12, so that you are prepared when you get there. Okay. So, first of all, the term number is known by n, right? And then the term value... is known by T subscript N. Okay, so this is what we basically, so if I say the seventh term, N is seven. If I say the seventh term is equal to 22, T N is 22. Okay, how to calculate it, or how to write in a formula, is T N equals A plus bracket N minus one, times d. A is the first term. Okay. And d is the constant difference. Okay, as an example, let's say we have uh, something looks like this uh, 2, 5, 8, 11. You will notice that there is a constant difference of 3 in between each, right? So if I, I say 2 plus 3 gives me 5, 5 plus 3 will give me 8, 8 plus 3 will give me 11. And that's basically how this works. So in this case, this 3 is equal to D, and the 2 is equal to A. So the general formula for this specific sequence will look like this. Dn equals 2 plus bracket n minus 1 times 3. And that's it. Uh, if you want to rewrite it, you can and it would be simplified to this format, which you will remember from your grade 10 work. Um, you put the 3 in front of the n, that's your constant difference, you can see there. And then you just basically ask yourself, what do I need to do with this 3? to get to, to the first value, which is 2, and that's just minus 1, and then you have the expression, so that's another way of doing it. Okay, but this is basically a quick summary of number patterns, linear number patterns, one with the first constant difference. Okay, and now the moment you've got your formula, it's very easy to calculate any term or any term value. Um, yeah, and that's it. We can quickly do an example of that. Let's say I want to know what is the 20th term value. Okay, and I'm going to work with that formula. Then I say, okay, T20 is equal to 2 plus 20 minus 1 times 3. So 2 plus and 20 minus 1 is 19. 19 times 3 is 57. So then your final answer will just be 59. Uh, these questions can be asked in another way as well. Let's assume you didn't know uh, this answer. So everything that's in blue, just assume you don't know that. And I ask you, I tell you, the term value is equal to 59 what is n then we start again from here 
and we put our unknown will be in and the t in will be our substituted value so now you say 59 equals 2 plus bracket in minus 1 times 3 okay so now the 2 is brought across so you have 57 equals n minus 1 times 3 and now you divide by 3 on both sides which will make this 19 equals n minus 1 therefore n is equal to 20 these are, those are the two ways of asking these questions. So this is the basic one, the number pattern, linear number pattern. The next one is quadratic. That's uh, for the next video.